interference in the 2021 election campaign. What we have is a gutting when it comes to the production of documents. I trust the law clerk to make redactions to protect national security. The parliamentary law clerk is someone who has a full national security clearance. He is independent. That, for Mr. Fergus, is a problem because a production process in which the law clerk is left in charge to independently assess issues of national security gets in the way of what Mr. Fergus, I believe, would like to do, and that is to cover up the inaction that the liberals have taken in response to serious interference by Beijing. They would like to whitewash and hide from this committee material evidence and provide a production that leads to redactions like this or this. Or how about this? This. Here's liberal transparency. Another page? Here's some more. Or how about, here's some more liberal transparency for you. Another blank page. Another blank page here. <laughs> Sensing a trend. Point of order, Madam Chair. Page there. Um, yeah, that's the transparency. Mr. Cooper, Mr. Mr. Cooper. Point of order. Yes, Mr. Turnbull. I just wanted a point of clarification. Mr. Cooper is holding up um, some pages. Uh, I believe that's a prop. I'm not sure, but maybe you could clarify for us whether uh, whether you're allowed to hold up props in uh, in committee proceedings. Uh, Mr. Trumbull, it's, in, it's interesting that you would ask that because I hear some commentary and perhaps people who would like to be chair in the future, but the rules that do um, run the House actually do help govern committees as well, so we don't do props here. Mr. Cooper, I do believe that what? we've had somewhat of a productive meeting, and I do believe that there is some agreement as to where this committee can go with the study that you state is important. And I think if we do genuinely want to find that spot, then we should try to land to that spot. So I just would say that, yes, I will provide the floor back to yourself, but I would really like to avoid having called points of order. We are people who are helping to govern a country. This is really serious stuff. So I'm going to pass you back the floor, and I know you know the rules better than most. So with that, Mr. Cooper. Madam Chair, page after page after page of blank pages in the way of production. That's the kind of production Mr. Fergus envisions with what he has put forward in his amendment. That's completely unacceptable. It doesn't do justice to getting to the bottom of what had happened, but it's par for the course with the Liberals. We have ministers who come before this committee and claim they know nothing, nothing to see here, everything was more or less above board, oh, there was a little bit of interference, maybe, but, you know, the Prime Minister, when he was asked about the latest allegations, 